do you see what is behind me? No, 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 no. Are you in this business and you feel like getting a no breaks your heart? Or you feel like, oh my gosh, I can't be rejected. I don't want to hear no. And maybe that's not why you're not asking a question. Are you going, what if I get a no? Or, oh my gosh, I'm so shy and I don't know what to say. And I'll, and they'll say no. So I want to cover in this video on how to stop letting the no's keep you from doing the activities that will get you those yeses. So I am Arlena Gafford, soon to be LaCroix, and I want to come out and share with you how you can use no's to your advantage to your business. Do you want to know? Are you excited to hear about it? Does it scare you? Are you like, what in the world is she talking about? She's crazy. So I want to really dive in and show you a couple different scripts that you can use to ask for fundraising, for leadership, for selling, and whatever your goal is, whether it's building a fundraising business with Avon or building a ton of sales with Avon with customers, are building a team with Avon, you want to focus on these no's for that. And take the challenge. So as you listen to me, I want you to comment below the date that you are starting your challenge. So if you're starting it today, comment today and go for 30 days, okay? So this is what this goal is. And I have two handouts at naturallybeautifultips.com under the free resources section. And so go there and you can print both or one of the no's. So I will tell you um, that I believe you might want to print this one first. You see that? I know it's not colorful like this one is, <laughs> but there's a benefit to the black and white right now. And then the next month, as you're getting more comfortable with those nose, you can use the color for one if you want to. And I want to go through first some reasons on why you want to do this. So the challenge is to get 100 no's in 30 days. So that means from today and your next 30 days, you want to go for 100 no's. You want to maybe start the first day of the month. Now, don't let that stop you from starting today. I know a few days have already passed in this month, but you want to go ahead and get started and go for 100 no's, and then next month you can start on the first day. With the no challenge, the black and white, I love what it says on here. It says, no, it's no problem, no worries. Who cares if someone tells you no? It's not going to kill you. It's not going to just go crazy and your life is turned upside down. It really isn't. So no is no problem. If you ever feel discouraged when you hear the word no, remember if you don't hear no enough, you're not asking enough people. You hear that? If you don't hear no, you might not be asking enough people. Very simple. Depending on, I, you can simply be in this business to earn just $100 a month. You can be in this business to earn $500 a month or $1,000 a month or $5,000 a month. But if you are not asking enough people, you're not even going to hit that $100 earning mark. And we all start with one person at a time. So 12 years ago, when I started my business, I started with one person, one customer, then one recruit, and one fundraiser. And over the years, I have built it up. Here's the other cool thing. I'm going to comment below, and I'm taking the challenge with you. So myself personally will be on the team side of the 100 no's, but what is yours? So again, comment, let me know. I would love to cheer you on. I want to cheer you on. So a hundred no challenge. 
So again, if you ever feel discouraged when you hear the word no, remember, if you don't hear no enough, you're not asking enough people. And every no brings you that much closer to a yes. Yay, we love those yeses, don't we? Make sure to reward yourself as you go so you don't get discouraged and you get to choose the reward. Oh my gosh, this is another reason why I say start with this one, okay? Because every so, so many no's, it's going to say reward. And so when you reach that point, you want to reward yourself, all right? When you get to that no, reward yourself with whatever you wrote in that square. It can be a milkshake. It could be an ice cream. What about a movie once you get halfway through? Um, what about a pair of shoes, you know, or a new lipstick or whatever you can possibly think about? What if you want to binge watch, you know, because you're going for a hundred no's? You're not watching TV as much. Maybe you're not on as many social media channels scrolling and just playing. So what if you get to one of the rewards could be catching up on one of your favorite shows, going and catching up on one of your social media outlets. And so you can pick a couple hours, you know, when you get to that reward No. So I absolutely love this. And I want to show you my screen because I want to show you what this looks like um, on here. So this is what it looks like. So you go through these many no's and then you have a reward and then you keep going and then you have another one and then another reward and so on. And imagine, look at all the rewards that you're going to get to. Now here's a little bit that I want to tell you, okay? And then we'll go into the script. You see all these no's? Do you know that because Avon has been around for over a hundred years, it's harder to get a no? Did you know that? It's harder to get a no because so many people know Avon. We have also really changing our products. Oh my gosh, we've got matte liquid lipstick. We have Magic's foundation one. We have anti-pollution, which is charcoal. We have the strips to go in that line. We have toothpaste. We have so many new products, chi hair products that I get to start using tomorrow. So many products that we have coming out that you're gonna look at at the end of this month if you really work at this every day. And I highly suggest doing, even if you talk to five people on your low production days, but then you have those days that you are really going for about 20 people you're gonna talk to or even more. Again, this is based on what you wanna do. And if you're wanting to earn $1,000 a month, well, your work ethic is gonna be a little bit different than someone who wants to earn $100 a month. And if you're really not sure how many hours you wanna put into this every day, go for okay I need a hundred no's and on Monday I have an hour to work at this on Tuesday I have 30 minutes on Wednesday I actually have two hours on Saturday I have like 10 minutes and that's it do that because the benefit of this you're going to one get better at how you're speaking to people and get over that shyness believe it or not I was very very shy when I got started in this business I went to the meeting and I literally sat in the back row didn't say nothing to no one unless they said hey to me first and now 12 years later I'm not like a thousand percent outgoing, but I am more outgoing and we'll talk to more people now. So as you're going through your hundred notes, you're going to find out how you want to work this, what works best for you, which area of the business you want to work. Is it fundraising? Is it selling? Is it leadership? We are always doing pretty much the exact same thing. So Tip number one, again, is to take the 100 no's challenge. From now until the end of the month, you want to get to 100 no's and start every first day of the month if you want to do that or start every 30 days with today being your first day. 
Tip number two is to decide which way are you going. If you're not sure, maybe you go with two of the ways. You ask some people about fundraising, you ask some people about um, you know, getting a brochure and purchasing products from you, or maybe you do all three and you ask some people if they would like to earn some extra money. And so that's tip number two. You want to find which direction you want to take. And I will tell you, the opportunity seems to be the better one to start with, and you can always bridge into the other ones a little bit easier. But again, to see what works for you. So what works for me might not what work for you and you might have a different method that you wanna use. So tip number three, um, and let me show you this other 100 no's. So do y'all see all of the rewards again? This is our cute colorful sheet. It doesn't have, um, like this one has, yes it's on there. Um, I will tell you, you'll get a lot more yeses um, than when you reach the end of no. So you can always flip this paper over if you print it um, and just keep writing. You can even use the back side of both sheets to keep up with everybody's information that you're going to um, come in contact with and you can look at that. So tip number three is to actually use a script. So I want to give you a few scripts that's going to help you. Um, talk to people and I will even give you some ideas on where to talk to people, <laughs> like who, how, when, all of that stuff. So let me get in here to my messenger and I'm going to share some scripts with you. Let me go, let me go. All right, ready? Well, let's see, let's see. Okay, so not that one. Give me just a second. So, so sorry. I meant to have it already pulled up. Um, <laughs> all right. So this one says, hey, Teresa, I know we don't know one another. I see you're in Beckley, West Virginia. I am looking to expand my business in Beckley. Would you be open to taking a look at what I do? If not, no worries. Very simple script. And again, this is for the opportunity. So hi, Teresa, I know we don't know one another. I see you're in Beckley, West Virginia. So you know that she lives in West Virginia. Um, I am looking to expand my area in Beckley. Would you be open to taking a look at what I do? If not, no worries. So you're asking them, but you're not like you're giving them an out to. So if no, fine, no worries. And when they come back and respond to you, then you'll be able to see, okay, which direction do you need to go? Did they give you a yes? Did they give you a no? Okay, we'll mark it off on your list. Remember, you wanna talk to more people to get to those yeses. Now, another script, let's go through here. I, hi, Victoria. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Victoria. I know we don't know one another. I see your mommy. I work with a lot of mommies. Would you be open to taking a look at what I do? If not, no big deal. Again, you see that she is a mom. You would love to work with moms if you don't have a team, or if you do, more than likely you have moms on your team, and so you want to work with moms. And would, would she be open to taking a look at what you do? So with this, you want to look at, okay, how can I ask the question to them? Okay, the other simple, simple question that doesn't put them on the spot like that does is, hey, Becky, let's see, hey, Becky, do you know anyone who is looking to make some extra money? Or, hey, Becky, do you know anyone open to earning extra money? And that's it. So you're not really asking them, but you're asking them who do they know if they, someone that wants to make some extra money. And you will be surprised. It's very simple. If they do, they're going to tell you. So it's not hard at all to do this. You can actually look at, okay, how many people can I ask this question to? And bring them over to my team or to the no 
Maybe they say, no, it's okay, I promise. Now, that's for leadership. That's really building that team. Now, what if you're wanting to build your sales? This is what I like to do. This is just how I started. I really didn't know all of what to say, but I wanted to, um, I just started with sales. I didn't know a lot about the leadership part. And so what I did, and I grew my business to over $22,000 in sales in my first year. Over $22,000 in my first year, okay? And how I did that was by giving out the catalog. So I would ask them, hey, do you have an Avon representative? If they said no, then I would offer them the book. If they said yes, they do. And remember, they're going to say yes, they have a representative. So that means no to you because they already have a representative. So you're going to mark them on your list. I gave them the book. I put my information on the back. You want your name, phone number, email. Um, well, you can put your email, but you want your name, phone number, online store, and how they can sign up on your team. I promise you, if you don't put that on there, then they will go to Avon and sign up. The lady who, um, I never met her, but her book came across. My mom had got her book. I saw the book and it said to buy, sell, or fundraise. I thought, I want to sell Avon. I never thought about selling Avon. Like never. And I used to buy all the time. And so I went, huh, I could sell Avon. So I gave her a call because now we do online appointments. And back then we had to still do in-person appointments. But I called her and I got signed up. So you want to make sure your information is on there because you never know who's going to pick up your book and want one of the ways that you offer to them. Okay, so buy, sell, or fundraise. All right, so the third way is fundraising. So again, you can ask the question, hey, Teresa, do you know anyone looking to um, raise funds? Do you know an organization or an individual who needs to raise funds? And so you can ask that to a lot of people and you're going to come across people who want to have a fundraiser for someone they know that has cancer or someone who's wanting to go on a basketball trip or the church youth group or the band. Um, the band wants to earn money because they have band camp or um, competitions they go to. You're going to cross people who want to hold fundraisers either individually or for an organization, okay? So how are you going to ask which direction are you going to go in your business? If you're not sure, I highly suggest do all three. Okay, do all three. Ask 33 people if they would like a fundraiser. Ask 33 people if they would like a book and want to buy. Ask 33 people if they want to earn some extra money. And at the end of that, you're going to see which one works best for you and which direction you want to go in. Now, I will say I do all three. So I have, you know, fundraising is really on the back burner. So I do fundraisers, but it's not my main priority every campaign. Um, I am working on getting a few more fundraisers every year to help my sales because then at the same time, it helps my leadership sales. So it all works together when you really think about it. So you're going to find the reps on your team who wants to hold nothing but fundraisers or reps who want to do nothing but sales or reps who want to do a little bit sales, but mostly team. And that is good for you. So really think about how you want to grow it. Okay. So tip number four, I think I'm on number four, right? <laughs> Where do you find people to ask, to get your no's, to get your yeses, to get yours? I'm not sure. Or, hey, I've got a best friend or, you know, whatever. So where do you find these people? I want to give you lots and lots of ideas. Are you ready? Are you ready, ready, ready? <laughs> what do they say, ready, Freddie? <laughs> so let's think about this. Where can you find customers? Where can you find recruits? Where can you find people who want to hold a fundraiser? So set up at events. We have lots of festivals fall festivals, Christmas, um, well, like Christmas open house, or we have, um, here we have, 
what is it called? Oh my gosh. We had a chocolate festival. We've had summer days. We've had May days. I mean, you name it. Um, even the county fairs are a great place because lots of people show up to that. So really think about, hmm, what festivals are coming in my area that I, maybe I could hold an event at least once a month every month of the year? Or maybe I can do two or three events every month, every, you know, all year long or so many months. Um, so that's going to help you really reach. And that's actually how I started because I was shy. I didn't want to walk up to a lot of people <laughs> and ask if they would like a brochure, even though I eventually got comfortable doing that. But I started with events because if you get in the right events, guess what? There's already attendance there. So we used to have what we called River Fest up in Gadsden and I loved going as a kid so I knew of it and with a little bit of my background being in another direct sales company and they held a table for us so I had an idea of what to do but I wasn't sure what to do at the same time so I went and set up I was scared to death to talk to people I would talk to them if they came up to my booth. I didn't say a whole lot and I got my first recruit from doing that. And as I kept doing events that year, I went, hmm, what if I ask everybody that walked by if they would like a brochure and enter my drawing? And that's what I did. And then I followed up and got the order, you know, a few days later. So events, fairs, all of that where you can set up an Avon table is going to really help you. Another place that you can go is tailgating. So open up the hatch of your car, whether it's the car or an SUV, um, and go park in a parking lot um, where there's traffic, but where people can pull over to you. So make sure you do that. Some people will stop in the middle of the road um, because they see Avon and they want Avon, but you can get some people that way. Another place is just simply going into different businesses and asking the cashiers or while you're out and about, you can go, okay, I need to go into this clothing store. And so you can go in that clothing store and ask them, but go to also two businesses on this side and two businesses on this side of that store because your schedule already says, hey, I need to go to this clothing store let me hit to, you know, that's five businesses right there that you can talk to. And more than likely, they have more than one person inside working. So maybe you can talk to like 10 or 15 people and that's going to help you get, you know, some of those no's and some of those yeses. And don't let it stop you if you go into this business and they have a rep to not go into this business. Because most times this business doesn't have a rep. This business doesn't have a rep. This business might have a rep, but it's not the same representative that's over here. I promise you, I've done this and I've seen, no, this one can have one and no one else on that strip mall has a representative. So you want to make sure that you are going into every business if you're doing the businesses. What about your regular family and friends and your regular customers? What about asking for referrals? Who do they know who could pass an Avon brochure along? Who do they know who would like to make some extra money? Who do they know who needs to raise funds? And so start getting those referrals. Start getting people because everyone that you know, they know more people that you don't know. And so that's going to give you that reach too. Uh, promote your e-store on social media sites. So all of us is online now. You're watching me online right now. So what about YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, um, Pinterest, Tumblr, Snapchat? What else is out there? Like, put them in the comments. Um, TikTok is out there. So like, there's so many social media channels that you can start reaching people in other states or even just in your city along. So you can message people and ask them if they would like an Avon brochure. Do they have an Avon representative? Do they know anyone who's looking to make some extra money? Or do they know an organization or individual who needs to raise funds for something? So again, there's lots of ways and that's your scripts, okay? So take this video, save it so you can always come back if you need to. Remember naturallybeautifultips.com under the free resources. I will actually put up a script section if I don't already have one there. So I will put up a script 
um, handout that you can download. You can download both of these hundred nose um, pictures. They are pictures. Um, I'm sure they would come up as pictures. So you should be able to just save them to your computer or your phone and comment below again and let us know that you're going for the hundred nose challenge. So I'm doing it with you. And so I have, this is the eighth. All right. So I know I'm going to go through. I've already been messaging a few people today and I'm going to message some more people today and I'm going to start with my nose and I am going to start with my nose here because I want to get some rewards. I want to reward myself. For some reason, I've been loving some ice cream and milkshakes here lately. So I think one's going to be a milkshake and one's going to be ice cream for my reward. Um, so just little inexpensive things that you could do for yourself. Take a bubble bath. Um, ask your husband to watch the kids and so you can relax or go read a book. So many rewards that you can do for yourself. So I'm excited to see you do this please comment below. I love, love, love to cheer you on. And I would love to see what your results turn out to be as you're going through this. At the end of the month, are you getting 100 no's? Or did you have so many people say yes that you couldn't get to your 100 no's because you have a ton of people to work with now. And that is really the biggest reason why you want to do this challenge. Because at the end of the month, you might not ever hit a hundred no's because you have so many people that you're working with month after month that you're not going to need the no's in six months or a year. So I'm excited to see where you go with your business. I'm excited to hear about your success and your goals and what you're doing. So thank you for watching. I really appreciate it. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel, like this video. And if you found value in this video, please share it with your Avon bestie or your Avon team or both. I would love for um, you to share that so they can get these tips and these ideas for their own business to help them grow too. So y'all have a great Avon day and see you on the next Avon video. Bye.